Hello, Geminis. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is another February love reading for you all. Whether you are connected or single, this can resonate for you to see what's going on in your love life and to see what is coming in. All right. So this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and those of you who are cross watchers connected to a Gemini. Okay. So um, keep in mind, these are general messages, Geminis. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If you would like a personal reading, you can check out the details in the description box to see how you book a reading with me. All right. So for Geminis, what's going on with them? Six of Cups. All right. As a soulmate. Feels like they're coming back to you. Okay. Um, what else is going on for Geminis? Nine of Swords. This person has been a headache to you in the past. <laughs> Um, yep, you love them, but they've been a headache. Queen of Cups, Two of Swords. Should I let them back? Should I let them go? What do I need to do? <laughs> right? That Two of Swords is that decision making, um, situation that you feel like you're in, especially with the two of wands showing up at the bottom of the deck. You and this person bumped heads. You didn't agree on the future. You didn't agree on what a relationship was. You didn't agree on whether to commit or not. You didn't agree that, you know, it's just so many things you guys bumped heads on, right? So it, should I allow this person back into my life? Feels like the big question of your reading. So this person does feel like they're coming in. This is someone that you have a soft spot for. Um, Gemini, this is somebody that you have a soul connection to that can make it very difficult to disconnect yourself from them. The seven of wands tells me that you've done a lot to try to keep this person out of your energy and out of your space, right? You, the, Your last little like situation with them, you maybe had to tell them off. You maybe had to stand up for yourself against them, um, pushing against some of your boundaries. And so I feel like this is somebody who, while they do inspire feelings of love and passion, they also inspire feelings of resentment and um, a, a end of distrust from you, right? This was somebody, it feels like you had to establish boundaries because they were doing things that were going against the connection. Now in this six of cups, I have a four of cups on this side and a two of cups on that side. So what this feels like to me is that decision-making, should I just keep rejecting this person and pushing them away, keeping them out of my life, life because they're toxic, or should I give this relationship another chance? Notice the two of cups is behind, Okay, the images. So I do feel like this could be a connection where it's your decision and you have to do what is best for you, but the good stuff can be, you know, well behind you guys and it may be time to move forward for those of you who needed that message. Seven of Wands here though, again, saying that you had to stand up for yourself. This person was not respecting you and your boundaries. Two of Swords is like my red flag card. It's like somebody that, and you have it twice. So it's like somebody that, or a situation that um, you can't move forward. For whatever reason, you have to think harder, th deeper about this. There's a reason you can't move forward, all right? So this person does feel like they were a headache, nine of swords. Um, I feel like a lot of you, you're dealing with somebody who may feel like they've only brought one thing to the table, ace of wands, a lot of passion, a lot of fun, but not very stable. Queen of wands here, lots of passion, but this is also someone who put you in situations where they made you feel very jealous, put you in situations where they made you feel competitive, like you had to compete for them. And a lot of you are not crazy about having to return to that if you deal with them, right? Because it doesn't feel like they change much. What's going on with this uh, queen of wands here? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius is here. Um, also Capricorn, I mean, also um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I have temperance, okay? This is somebody that you have had to heal from, Gemini, in the past. So you have to make a very wise decision about whether to move forward with this person when they come back or now that they have come back. For some of you, they haven't come back yet and you will hear from them within the next six days. Um, from when you're receiving this message. So this is somebody who did inspire feelings of jealousy in you. Um, they increased your anxiety. You were always wondering
wondering what they were doing, whether they were being faithful, whether they were cheating. Um, this was somebody that you couldn't trust, basically. And temperance is telling me that, you know, you you dealt with this person for a long time and you finally got somewhat of a respite from them. And a lot of you are happy without them. Ten of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So is it worth it to go back to them? All right. So the Queen of Cups here. All right. Some of you may have like you may be willing to listen to them at the very least with the Queen of Cups energy. You are willing to listen to them and try to understand their perspective, where they're coming from. This is coming from the fact that you still care about them. Um, you're still open to a love connection with them. Um, what is this Ace of Cups about? Let me do that again with this queen of cups some of you will be getting an offer from a water sign a pisces cancer scorpio they're gonna say something like look i still love you this isn't over please give me another chance i understand your side now i see what i did wrong specifically for those of you that are in a water dealing with a water sign but not exclusively death but i just see that more for those of you who have a scorpio pisces or cancer now they want to talk about the future two of wands right and this is what you wanted from this person from the get-go you want somebody who's going to um you know represent your wish fulfillment right the person that you always wanted not just physically but somebody who shared your goals who shared your dreams of the future so i do feel like this person comes back talking a really smooth game and it's going to be difficult to not take them seriously because it does feel like they're coming from the heart and they're coming from a genuine place it can be either that or this person knows your language right your love language and they're speaking it and you know you have to decide whether they're those intentions are pure or not with the two of swords so some of you are not going to receive this person's call just because they call you out the blue just yet you're not going to take their message just because they text you right you, you're you're going to give it some time before you reach back out to them why is the two of swords here is that <laughs> knight of cups because they're coming and they're coming with that offer of love again if they're a pisces scorpio or cancer right and i feel like there it's very difficult a lot of you really wanted the what they feel like they're offering this time around from this person and you got to know if you can trust it or not knight of pentacles more offers okay this love offer didn't work i promise you can trust me this time around gemini i promise i'll be there for you you know speaking to your heart okay yeah and um i got a trip i'm gonna pay you know this knight of pentacles energy something tangible i bought this this pendant for you this ring for you um i'm gonna give you this is something my mom gave me to give to the person i fall in love with so you have some decisions to make now for others of you it's more specific than that you are having to choose between a water sign and an earth sign possibly Virgo Pisces even more specifically but there are those of you who have moved on there are those of you who are not seriously dealing with somebody but you could be about to be and this person may come in and interfere and throw things off for you a little bit and so you may be put in a decision where you're like heck should I go with what I'm used to like what I was familiar with who I already, you know, I live with them. We had a good little relationship. Or should I try this new person who, you know, isn't as, it's not as, you know, passionate and not that much drama, but they're more stable. So some of you do have that hard decision coming in for you, Gemini's. Um, let's see what's coming in for you in love. Um, judgment, they're coming back. All right, especially if they're a Scorpio, fire sign energy as well. Aries, Scorpio, Leo. Yep, they're coming back. Three of Cups, it's here. This person is returning to a Cups at the bottom of the deck. They want their Gemini back, <laughs> okay? Um, five of Cups, they miss you. I feel like some of you are going to reject them. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups, let's just be friends. That's what I feel like is coming in for you guys. This person, um, I feel like, you know, they're, they're spying on you, looking at you on social media. Um, I, I feel like they don't really care, though, if you have somebody or not this person feels like they they don't care they're gonna just rush in um this uh judgment is telling me that they are missing you they miss when you are not with them gemini's and they want to be back in your life they are going to yeah Libra energy with this justice here. They are going to to go all out here to try to prove to you that that they mistreated you. They were wrong. They faced their karma. They have gotten their justice, and they feel like the next best thing is to offer you commitment, marriage, another try at this relationship. So, yeah, right. 
Um, some of them are trying to do this before you fully move on. Like I said, Gemini, some of you do have someone in your immediate space that you are interested in. Um, and I feel like they may have seen this person online with you, but I also feel like a lot of them can feel you energetically slipping away from them. And so that's why they're making this big play. Um, to you, right? Hey, come out with me and my friends. You remember we used to all go bowling? Remember we used to all go to the, you know, to to the skating rink, whatever it is that you guys did together. They're going to be trying to jog your memory. Where is it? That six of cups trying to get, uh, get you nostalgic, right? Try to soften you up a bit with some memories that are going to bring back some fond times that you have with this person. Um, what's this three of cups here? It's the strain. They're holding on to you. All right, that, that's that's it. They're holding on to you. All right, they haven't been able to let go. Eight of Pentacles, they have been wanting to prove to you that they have been doing the work and improving and trying to get their life on track and trying to make space for you in their life, um, Gemini. So this person is missing you. I feel like what's coming in, though, for you in love, Five of Cups, you may decide to... Um, not take this person's offer this feels like rejection it's the six of pentacles they do offer something um and it feels seven of cups i feel like you leave them confused this time around lovers at the bottom of the deck right some of you have already started dealing with somebody else um some of you are not wanting to go back into a drama stress laced relationship so i feel like you end up leaving this person confused for others of you you're still going to be confused about what to do you can't make a decision in this current energy some of you your truce is let's just be friends right let's just let's just promise to respect each other and to give each other space and you know see where it goes from there the page of cups here but i feel like this person is going to not they're they're going to keep trying yep because you're what you're who they want i get this for gemini's a lot you know when people lose you i guess there is this really big void and i feel like you are the wish fulfillment that this person manifested and they can't accept that you may not be with them right you may be with someone else right i'm gonna do that again um yeah, the Eight of Swords, they feel stuck, tied to your energy, stuck and tied to you. And they may try to project that to try to make you feel bad. Like, oh, so you're just going to leave me or you're just going to reject me. You know, try to play on your heart a little bit. But I do feel like this person, um, there is something about this person with all these water energies that comes off as sincere. Their behavior is a different story. I know you guys understand that, but I do feel like they do care for you, love you, have feelings for you, whatever level you're at. It's just that it's very difficult for them to remain focused and stay disciplined in a, re in a relationship setting. So what messages do we have coming through for Gemini's here? Leaving you was a mistake. So they may, that's why they're experiencing this. They may have left you. They may have started dealing with someone else before you did. And so they're realizing that that was a mistake. And now they have this void in their life. Um, even if they didn't leave you for someone, they left, right? They feel safe in love with you. And so now they want to come back to their safe zone. They want to come back to their comfort zone here with you. Um, but that spot may have gone to someone else. I'm struggling. Yep. This person does feel like they struggle. Um, it's very difficult not having you in their life. And I feel like that's why they're coming back, like pulling out all the stops because they, they, they feel like it's now or never it's do or die. I have to make this play for Gemini or I'm going to be alone and unhappy for the rest of my life. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Gemini's. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box.